Okay, so let's talk about some of the most common type of uh, uh, mesh model inconsistencies that I've come around to encounter and probably some of the strategies that uh, I tend to use to clean them up. So I have a few models here that I opened and uh, just to show you what I mean, if you see for example on this door for example, uh, sometimes you might do everything and sometimes you might still get funny results. So, But this is not a cause for alarm. As long as uh, you know you have everything in your model uh, the way, uh, you, you know, as long as you've modeled everything in, you, in, you, in your set and you don't want to go back and do the back and forth uh you know there's a way to just clean these things very easily uh in the previous tutorial on one of the previous tutorials on windows i started to show you a bit how you can touch up let's say the door uh the walls uh with uh you know with some kind of raw modeling technique so now what i want to do is uh first let me you know let me just uh, uh let's say explode this there i want to make this there some type of a concrete uh you know concrete structure it's basically uh, this is you know it's basically this there so let me just actually use this one uh you know select that and instead of making it uh a plane i want to convert that into a concrete feel uh so here i still have the ability to does it looks like uh, I only have one modifier still available here is that right what about here okay here I have two so let me just use this one um, to turn on screencast display uh, move this on the side so basically uh, you can see that the only thing that constitute this is these two things so it's just basically the mesh like this so what I do is bring that mesh back on and bring the array. Okay, so right now it is, um, let's see, it has a thickness of 43 centimeters uh, like this. But I want to make it, I want to make the thickness sort of even everywhere. So I'm going to go down about, let's see, because right now, it goes down in the x direction by 18 centimeters so i want to make the thickness 18 times 2 so uh, 36 centimeter like this and you will see why because now what i'm going to do here is that i'm going to apply uh let's see which one comes first okay i think apply uh the solidify apply the solidify so now i can insert this ring this edge loop here so that it, it it meets this other edge loop so now i can apply the array now like this i have this and so what you see now is that i have all of these faces inside uh you know inside here so first i'm going to try to export this like this so file export obg uh, make sure my my settings are good. Z up, Y forward, export, uh, and bring free CAD. <clears throat> okay. Just to show you what you shouldn't do, mesh because this is just one object, and so delete. And so you can see that uh, cleaning this kind of mesh is very very complicated is very tedious now hopes are not lost because when you have this much information you know you can still work with it so for example what i can do at this point is um you know i can make sure that my plane is on that surface and i can select that face so it's like this and extrude that down like this and i can do the same thing um for this face like this you know and then just start you know probably put my plane my work plane on this face and either I use the same array technique or I, I just simply start uh, copying um, the, the the stairs one at a time and then when I'm done I can come back and, and create a ring around to 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 close it like this you know 
where you can create a field ring around it sort of like this okay so let me hide that let me hide that so you see what i'm saying so and then you do that of course for the entire thing so this is not going to be a very efficient way of, of manipulating this kind of stuff right so it's going to kill you it's going to take all your time so this is why uh, having the proper modeling uh strategy in blender would save you some time so for example here i know that the problem that's going on is the fact that there's this internal faces i don't know if you can see them these faces so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to mesh, uh, actually select and select uh, uh, inner faces. What's going on? Select inner faces. something strange but okay let's go the manual way just a bit tedious like this I probably need to remove doubles first so select everything and remove doubles that's what was going on so I have 64 vertices so remove doubles so that's why they were not really understanding which ones were the internal ones so now I can select uh, similar or by trait interior faces okay that okay so X uh, faces so I can delete them nice and now I can file export obg nope nope top and delete that delete this and delete that delete that and import import mesh okay so architecture split mesh and so here now you can see that uh, I have a full volume that I can work with but the thing is if you were to let's say uh, go to top mode of this draw of this uh, stair you would see, or the front of this there you would see that it has these triangles that you don't want to work with so in this case um, you know the simple way that I you know if one face is good like this face is very good it's very clean uh, so this is actually what I want so it's not a big deal I can touch this up very quickly I just select this face go to top in and in one click I just select this face and then I just extrude that like this okay and now I can get rid of my inconsistent and I have a clean fresh new stair uh, and if it's not a stair I can just tell it to be a stair here you know and that's all I have to do so it or you know I can just tell it to be a structure as well um, you know so it's very clean it's very smooth it's very easy so let's look at the other examples so the first example was just when you have you know a clean face that you can just extrude then use the extrude face instead of uh, having to model the whole thing um, so now let's look at uh, the doors or actually yeah this door and this guy file export for the BG okay so select that architecture in the split mesh and select that architecture and mesh to shape okay so delete this okay so now what's going on here so here I have one phase 
Now this is not a very good example because both faces are, are um, uh, both faces are clean, so I can just use the same principle and tactic that I used uh, there. Uh, but let's look at this one for the moment. Uh, okay, so this door is the same as this door but in this example it's sort of imported in a clean way and here he did this kind of strange thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one as an example and just drag a copy I want you to panel so the other thing that I tend to do when I have a simple shape like this uh, it's either, you know, I'm going to just select this face like that, put my working plane there and just simply draw a new square right here, sort of like that from two edges. So I have two edges to work with if they're simple planes like that. And all I have to do is just give a panel uh, thickness uh, of the same thickness. So uh, the good thing is I can sort say I want to measure what the real thickness is at 70 centimeters millimeters. So I can come to my panel and give it a thickness of 70 millimeters. Uh, thickness here, seven. And flip the normal. Uh, the normal is set on the X. So I want that to be negative one. Okay, so now you know, I have a clean panel and I could have done the same thing for all of them. So this one did not come clean. I'm going to uh, import another one just to show you the example of what I'm talking about. So file export. Export. And OBG. Okay, select this, uh, mesh to shape, okay, so now once again this object is just a duplicate of this object in, in Blender, so for some reason it chose to come in this way, and here you can see that uh, whether you're in the front, the back, the rear, you know, the model is literally useless so what do you do in this kind of instance what I do is I select that object you know uh, sometimes it's gonna be inconsistent so if you were to say put a face there and literally draw around all of these faces you'll be wasting some critical quality time so uh, generally what I will do in this kind of instance is I'm going to look at the, the the edges, uh, the sides of the object, especially if it's an object that is more of an extrusion like f shape. So what I'm going to do is make sure that my plane is on top. Um, select that, go to part view. And there's this tool here that allows you to draw a cross section. So I'm going to use that. So you see that it draws a cross section on the, on the X axis but I wanted to draw a cross section uh, in the ZY. It's not giving me uh, something as related to um, the direction of the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that architecture and select that. Move that here and then rotate that. Oh, come on. Okay, so select that and rotate this 
like this okay um okay so try that again so architecture part and then select that no not on that object but on this object select that so now i have that cross section so i want the x y and it's gonna cut deadly on the center so i'm gonna say okay and so now if i hide this i have this extremely clean wire uh if i were to just upgrade that by one let's see it like this i have a nice face and uh basically i can do whatever i want to do with this at this point um you know i can probably give it a panel thickness of some sort like this and so i can now use that in my model so that's one way of that i do that and then probably the last way and the most tedious way would be um usually let's say in this kind of instance um i can i can choose to downgrade this object like this and when i downgrade the object uh sometimes it explodes all of the pieces and i can just extract what i want and delete what i don't want uh so in this case you see i have all these faces they are unnecessary so all i have to do is let's say you know delete that um okay let me just do that delete this all these faces delete that uh, delete that let me make sure that my cursor is around here delete this delete that that delete this this face and this face so now all i have is are these faces so now i select this face and i downgrade this face again downgrade that and downgrade this other face so now all i'm left with are simple wires so i can delete this wire now delete this actually no uh yeah they're wires so i have to d downgrade them again so all i have now is lines uh so i can also downgrade this wire okay select this and downgrade so now i can delete this middle diagonals if i were to hide that all i have is these four wires now so i'm gonna bring back the plane i just hid the face okay so i will do the same thing here downgrade downgrade so i have two wires like this and downgrade this wire now so i have four edges uh three edges and downgrade this other one so i'm going to select this select that and here also i'm going to downgrade you what type of door do i want okay downgrade this and downgrade that so in this case for example you know if you want a door without this sort of diagonals then there you go so now all i have is all these edges like this and i upgrade them and select these wires and upgrade them again well technically they're supposed to give me a face um when i upgrade them one layer more and freak out just crashed so well i think that uh, that gives you a pretty decent idea um and also one last thing uh before uh, we get crazy here let me bring back my start recovery manager start recovery one thing that you will not be able to dodge is the fact that you need columns and so columns is one of those typical things finish okay so columns 3d cursor 0 0 0 so let's say you needed some columns and so uh, you drop let's say a circle
in edit mode you feel that and you scale that down extrude so let's pretend you had some columns on your building like this sort of like that and like that clearly if you export this file export obg you know there's no way around circles in FreeCAD or uh, circular objects there's no shading and inconsistencies apply mesh and so this is going to be the only instance where one of the rare instance where you'd have to literally uh, replace the objects with a FreeCAD object um, I'm trying to architecture architecture split mesh I have two columns now and select that architecture mesh to shape okay so as you can see uh, terrible results terrible just uh, unusable results so uh, the trick that I tend to use delete that is I'm gonna come here and actually delete these faces and give it a solidify modifier just so I have a volume even thickness object apply scale okay let me delete that let me duplicate that again so I'm going to select them file export obg export that and bring back free cad split the mesh and architecture mesh to shape okay what do we have so now at least the good news is that we have something that allows us to store the location of uh, of these columns so that in top mode uh, we can now go and draw Let's see, let me just change that to that. Make them slightly transparent. So let me go to 80, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into top mode, like this. View, orthographic. Make sure my working plane is on the top. Hide this and hide this perhaps. And now I have something to, to work with so I can I can just draw my circle here and so this becomes my column and I can tell it to be what 2.8 tall the height 2.8 and all I do is, you know, just copy that or something like this. And so now I can get rid of my inconsistent column. So this is when I'm, you know, so just like uh, this kind of sort of triangle panels, you're going to have to find yourself uh, in a situation where most of the circular shapes and the circular columns you're gonna have to to replace them with real freak out objects there are gonna be a few instances of some of these objects like that but I hope that this gives you an, uh, an appreciation of uh, you know of uh, how to manage some of the inconsistencies within the mesh transfers when you occur when you you, you know so what I've shown you were the most uh, uh, examples that i come across that i've also found a solution for that so i guess i'll see you into the next tutorial then